previously at the Deep Creek Bridge. We were placing a in a coffer cell, which is about 10 feet of concrete, about 1,300 cubic yards. And the intent for that is to build a, a support structure to put the bridge house on. And more recently. Since the last time we talked, we put in all the walls and structures for the base that the uh, tender house is gonna sit on. You can see the tender house coming up out of the ground now. So all of the concrete, these guys are doing the rebar, putting stuff in. We're gonna be placing some more concrete. We're at the point where in about three weeks we'll be adding steel for the tender house structure. And then from there we'll be putting the skirting and everything else and cover. And then in about a month or two months, we'll start building the bridge itself. In addition to the tender house work, we also have road structures and road infrastructure that we need to be working on. So we've been working across the street at 7-Eleven, restructuring the, the facilities around that, sidewalks, curbs, and getting all the electrical ready for putting in the lights and the signal lights and things like that. And then also down at Moses Grandy, we've already put in the base asphalt down there, working on the uh, where the Starbucks coffee is and the food line entrance. We're gonna be placing asphalt in a couple more weeks over there and reopening that. And then probably in a month or two, we'll be shifting traffic over to get it so that we can work on the old side of the Moses Grandy Trail. So the great thing about this project is that the Corps of Engineers has been tasked to safely deliver. And what it means to safely deliver is not only just safety for construction or for the public, but we also want to deliver quality on time and within cost. We have the opportunity where we allow 30,000 people to go through our project every day to not only maintain the public transportation flowing through for their convenience, but also to keep the open navigation as well for the boating community and commerce. Safety for all of us is priority one. So as you can see, the traffic gets a little tied up here where it gets stuck at a light. So we're doing our best to keep everybody functioning, doing the things that we need to do to make sure the community and the facilities and the construction workers are safe at all times.